Today is the second day of Passion Week, and we are reflecting on Luke chapter 20, verses 1 through 8. Jesus has entered Jerusalem, cleansed the temple, and he's teaching daily. Luke chapter 19, verse 48 tells us all the people were hanging on his words. All the people, except of course the religious leaders. They aren't too happy with Jesus. Jesus is a threat to their power, their religious system, and their way of life. How can the leaders put an end to Jesus sharing the gospel when people are so attentive to his teaching? In today's passage, the leaders demand of Jesus, tell us by what authority you do these things, or who is it that gave you this authority? He responds with a question of his own. Was the baptism of John from heaven or man? There is no good answer. Responding from heaven would mean that Jesus was who he said he was, as John taught. Answering from man would mean they spoke against John, which they were afraid to do. They instead gave the cowardly response of, we don't know. Jesus chooses not to engage in the adversarial discussion and responds with, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. Let's unpack the situation. The leaders are afraid of Jesus because he's a threat to what they know, to their comfortable religious system. Their fear makes them miss that the Messiah, the Savior, is right in front of them. Their focus is on their own agenda, protecting their traditions by finding a way to kill Jesus. Meanwhile, let's think of Jesus. He knows that the leaders are looking for reasons to kill him, and he knows they're going to succeed. When the leaders pose this question to Jesus, he could respond with, you know what, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be here teaching. I'll just see my way out now. But he doesn't. Jesus is courageous, asking a question that both exposes the hypocrisy of the leaders and points to truth. Let's remember that Jesus is fully human. It would be a natural human flesh reaction to try to avoid crucifixion. But Jesus obeys his Father. It can be easy to shake our heads at the fearful leaders, but how often do our own desires cloud our eyes? Are we ever so afraid to let go of ourselves that we miss the life that God is calling us to live? Let's choose to follow the way of Jesus, doing what God calls us to do. Jesus faced death on the cross for every one of us, and I am so grateful. Jesus is the example I want to follow. Let's take a minute to contemplate what today's passage means for us. Jesus courageously followed his father, even when it meant securing for himself a criminal's death on the cross. Let's thank God together. God, living in obedience to you is hard, especially when the life you call us to live is very different from the life that our culture says is acceptable. Thank you for sending Jesus as the perfect example of how to live in courageous obedience to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for reading along with us this week. We hope to see you at one of our Easter services this weekend.